we women, Filipino women, are very, very smart because even if we don't rule, you know, more corporations and things like that, we rule the home. <laughs> Tayong mga babaeng Filipina, we are the queen in our own home. The heaviest challenge was truly when my husband died, when he was 50, so young, it was something that I never expected. And in our dreams, when we got married, we will go grow old together and enjoy our grandchildren together. And so that was the time that I was totally unsettled, totally discombobulated. But during the darkest night of my soul, I am so thankful that I grew up in the Philippines, that I have my faith, that I believe in a loving God, so I never really despaired. And by one year, I already got, you know, I got it. All right, so Loida, you know, take care. What do you have? My two daughters, the unwritten book of my husband, the company that was floundering, you know, so those were the things that I had to attend to. Men and women are different, and you have to recognize that. But you stand up, you know, as a person, right? And, and you do your best from the beginning when you are studying, you know, and so you follow a certain path. And therefore, you don't go around, you know, looking for discrimination. Oh, yeah, I'm a woman, you have to treat me differently. If you look for discrimination, you get it, you know? But if you look for beauty, if you look for goodness, you will attract it. In 2000, when I found it, when I went to China and the Philippines, my family here said there is a school for sale in Sorsogon. Uh, although it was not the school that was for sale, it was real estate that was foreclosed by the bank. And that's when we started the Lewis College. Uh, founded in memory of Mr. Lewis because Education is the key to poverty. It's the only way out of poverty. I know there is discrimination against women, but you stand on your own ground, know who you are, and just keep going no matter what.